am I gonna like regret wearing this color for this video because it definitely does not go with my living room. Is that gonna be really distracting? Hi, I'm Naomi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Here I talk about all things personal development and spirituality. Please make sure that you click the subscribe button and be sure to follow me on Instagram, Naomi's underscore coaching for more content. So I'm really, really excited by today's subject because um, spiritual signs is one of the first tools that I learned about and used on my personal development spiritual journey. I'm getting excited. I'm like wiggling my foot. Um, and it was, it's something that's just so simple and just so lovely. Obviously we have different tools. You have visualization, you have the voice inside your mind, you have feelings, you might have a card deck, you might have a pendulum, you might have um, a book or a type of like Bible thing that helps to guide you. Um, there's so many different tools out there that you can use to help you on your personal development journey. Like that was just a drop in the ocean of how many tools that there are and methods I use, NLP, coaching, timeline therapy, hypnotherapy, Reiki, intuitive guidance, conversational coaching. There's just so many, so many ways to grow and develop spiritually and on your personal development journey. And um, spiritual signs, as I said, was one of the first ones that I used. And I initially used it when I was probably going through one of the toughest times of my life. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna share what a spiritual sign is. So spiritual signs, now these can be anything. And as I say, it is simply a tool. The sign itself is not magic. So in the past, people had like um, horseshoes, right? And like licky rabbit's feet. And that item itself, that sign, that thing, in and of itself is not magic, right? The horseshoe is a piece of metal and the rabbit's foot is a rabbit's foot. I didn't think that one through. For personal development and spiritual growth, we need to look inside. We don't need to be looking at anything on the outside. We always need to be concentrating on what's going on inside. So the magic there lies in what those items, what that sign, represents and means for you inside. It is said in A Course of Miracles that God speaks to me all through the day. Now you can change the word God for universe if you feel more comfortable with that. But one of my core beliefs is that the universe is always guiding me every step of the way. Everything works for the greater good to bring me to where I need to be. If God is talking to us all through the day, and you're maybe not hearing a voice inside your head or you're not feeling anything, maybe he's going to use signs and stuff around you in order to help guide and steer you. And as human beings, we live under the law of free will. So we have free will about what guidance we want, if you like, whether we want a higher power to step in and help guide us, that's our choice. So the first thing that I think is important to do, unless it's just happened naturally, is to ask for a spiritual sign. And one of the questions I get asked all the time is, well, how, how do I know what my spiritual sign is? How do I find it out? Well, you ask and then you wait and see what happens. I'll give you my own personal experience. I kept seeing ladybugs everywhere, right? And wrong time of year for them, kept seeing them everywhere. So what I eventually did was looked up the meaning of ladybird. And when I looked it up, and when I say look it up, I simply mean Google search spiritual meaning of ladybird, or they're sometimes called totems. So I looked it up and it was all about lady look, guiding me, female empowerment or feminine empowerment. And at the time of the struggle I was going through, this is exactly what I needed. So if you are open to start receiving guidance, then simply ask for it and then watch what comes up. And it will normally be something that just catches your attention, is undeniably something that you need to look into. And when we've asked, and maybe sometimes we don't listen, 
quite often that the message will keep being repeated through to us somewhere. Now, these spiritual signs can come in many different forms. And I know a lot of people are very familiar with a white feather, especially in connection to someone who might have passed away and be um, living their next adventure now. I know another spiritual sign is a, for a lot of people is a butterfly. Um, angelic numbers that seem to come up, number sequences seems to be another popular one. So 1111 or 111. If you are somebody that is seeing these signs a lot of the time, go, go within, you know, don't just stop at, oh, I've had a sign. It's, it's a, signpost to you to go within and to apply your own meaning to that and what it represents. So like my sister-in-law um, is just doing her midwifery qualification and her nan has given her, like you know, the old nurses watches um, as like a congratulations and also for her to use it when she starts going onto the wards. And, you know, that in and of itself is a sign, you know, we all recognise the symbol of that and what it means to be a midwife and what it means to be a nurse and this nurturing person that's there caring for people in some of their most desperate times. And so for my sister-in-law as well, not only is this something that's going to help her, but that object, it carries meaning, it has sentimental value because her nan's given it to her and it's a symbol of congratulations and recognition of hard work and and all those lovely things that she will now apply the meaning to every time she uses that watch. And I dare say years and years and years and years and years from now, when she retires from midwifery, that that clock will still have that sentimental meaning for her. I had to stop the video there because my loud, um, annoying amazing gorgeous wonderful of the half came home like a herd of elephants through the front door i wonder if that is a sign um so where might we see these signs well as i said of course in miracle states that god speaks to me all through the day so it's really up to you to take your own meaning your own internal meaning from what you might be seeing around you other times I've had, um, so the ladybird for me is probably my, my first one, my core one. It's one that comes up and guys, it never, ever fails me. I have seen ladybirds on signs, on pictures, on cushions, on bags. And whenever I'm talking about it or I'm sharing it with somebody else in person, you can be sure a ladybird comes up. And when I've given it to people, um, to help them with their journey or for confirmation with something when I've said, here you go, borrow my sign in the next 24 hours, you will see a ladybird and it will maybe be unusual, you'll just know it will be at the right time and it never ever fails. So other things that have happened for me are um, lines in a film, like just that, you know, that one profound one liner that just drops right into your soul and really means something to you or you might see an animal or something in a film. Film seems to be a big one. I mean, there's no reason why you wouldn't just see one whilst you were watching telly, but films just seem to hit a little bit deeper. Um, words of a song, words of a song, and maybe it's a song that you've heard a million times before, um, but just at the right time, you notice words on a more profound level than you ever had before. Or maybe you've got a certain song and it holds a certain meaning for you. Maybe it was the song at your wedding or the song at a loved one's funeral. And when you're going through that tougher, darker time where you don't feel like the universe has your back or you feel like you need some guidance, you hear that song and all of a sudden you're like, yes, it gives you that boost to remember that there is more to this being alive than what we maybe see and what's just going on around us. Synchronicity can also be a really, really good sign. And um, the other thing is with signs, especially if we um, ask for a sign or we have a sign, what will happen is you will see that more. And that's something called your RAS and it's called your reticular activating system. 
and in any one moment there are millions of bits of information available to us i'll try and keep this simple and the way that our minds work is we filter out what maybe isn't necessary to us in that moment but when we tell our mind what we maybe want to focus on and look for we'll find that it pops up everywhere because we're our mind is unconsciously looking for evidence of that wherever we go so you might actually find that your spiritual sign has been there all along you just weren't aware and open to seeing it um i've got some notes down here so i keep glancing down um it might be a sign from your inner voice. So the other day I was watching um, a video about a book that I'm reading and the video caught my attention because it was directly talking about something I was going through at the time. And I just had this, the, the woman was trying to search for the page, like live as she was doing this live video. And I just, I inwardly went, I know what page that is. And I went straight there and I was correct, it was the page that she was on about. And I'm talking about a big, thick book, right? Like, probably bigger than something like the Bible or around about the same size. And um, it was that inner voice, that inner knowing that she was going to be on that page and that I just needed to stop what I was doing and watch this live video. Um, so it can be just that inner knowing that inner voice that gut feeling this was more like a voice it was very clear that it was going to be this page number um dreams dreams are a lovely one for signs and symbols um our minds use metaphors our minds recognize signs and symbols so think like logos as soon as you see a logo, you will recognise what that logo is for, if it's a popular, well-known one. And then you'll associate all the meaning that you want to give to that logo to seeing that sign. So everybody has spiritual signs available to them and around them. Ask for them. Go have fun with this. I always say this, go have fun and go grow. And I'd love to know what your spiritual signs are, when they pop up, as and when you need them, and how they've helped to guide you, empower you, remind you of some of the core beliefs that are really good to adopt, that everything works for you and not against you. The universe has your back. God is speaking to you all through the day. You are not alone. You are fully supported. And see where those signs pop up, as and when you need them. Um, there is kind of like a little disclaimer with this as well, that it's like, you might possibly think you want something. Okay. So we'll use an example that, um, uh, that I was listening to earlier by somebody else. And you might like, really like, like this person and be like, oh, universe, give me a sign, give me a sign. Are they the one? Should I be with this person or not? Do they love me? Do you remember flowers? He loves me, he loves me not, and um, give me a sign. That's all very well and good. And I'm not saying that that doesn't happen for, for people. Of course it does. But don't let the sign become more important than what the representation inside is for you and what your gut intuition is saying to you. Because as with every helpful tool, that we can use and I speak about duality and there always being two sides of the same coin or two sides of the same concept that you can end up getting a little bit obsessed with signs and kind of not making a decision in life until you've seen a sign and um, so it does go with a little bit of a disclaimer that you use your signs when you need them and don't place all the meaning for everything on them um, Go with it in um, and just use the signs as signs in the right direction. And if you don't get a sign, well, that's a sign, right? <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you like my content, please be sure to subscribe. I will see you again next time.